are still finding it difficult to to uh, get it into my head. Really, really, it's Saturday. Really, really, it's Saturday. <laughs> Saturday morning. It is, oh my golly, golly, golly. Good morning, good morning. It is the 3rd of October. Uh, Christmas cake weekend this weekend, I think. I'm a little bit early, but you know, it's, what is it, 12 weeks or 11 or 12 weeks now to Christmas. And I think I'm going to make at least two, if not three, Christmas cakes this year. Oh, gosh, who will be the lucky recipients of my Christmas cake? Oh, me. I'll be one. <laughs> I always make my Christmas cake, and I always, always, always take it with me to New York. Or, or I ship it, whichever way it is. Um, but, you know, Christmas take, cakes, they sort of, because you feed them, you have to feed them once a week for at least six to eight weeks. So um, I've got to hurry up and get on with it. Um, and uh, and then what I do with mine is I freeze it. But because of all the alcohol that's in it, alcohol doesn't really freeze, as you probably know. So, But it gets really, really cold and everything sort of freezes up beautifully enough anyway. They just ship it out in a box to New York, and when I get there, there it is, ready to be decorated. <laughs> Can I believe myself? Christmas, Christmas cake at this time of the year? Surely we've got so many more weeks to go, but there it is. So I've got my cherries and my sultanas. And are you really interested in this? Because really. You're only interested in what I'm going to do for you this morning, aren't you? You're interested in story time. And it is story time this morning. And I shall be here with my lovely Chris, who will be helping me. We, I'll be telling you a story. I haven't... I know it's late in the day because it's, what, less than an hour now to story time. But, 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 I'm torn between two stories for you this morning. Uh, Shall I say, shall I tell you this one? Shall I tell you that? What shall I tell you? Which story shall I tell you this morning? I can see that you're all popping in. I can't see what you're saying because I don't have my glasses on. And even if I have my glasses on, I can't see from this distance anyway. It comes in little teeny, teeny, tiny writing. Uh, but hello anyway, and I'm glad that you're here. So 11 a.m. this morning, Eastern Standard Time. Yes, story time once again. And of course, after story time, I'll be answering some questions. On Thursday, we had a bit of a tough morning because we only got through half of the questions. I will try my best to answer them, but some of the questions are a little bit complex, so they take a little bit more time. And uh, I know how you just are lovely and you, you don't mind as long as I do my best. So story time this morning, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I shall be here, uh, I shall be on, let me think, YouTube, I shall be on Twitter, I shall be on my Facebook page, two Facebook pages in fact, uh, I think, and uh, one of them is my healing page, and, um, and where else shall I be, I'm all over the place, and uh, I'm now going to go over to Instagram to remind everybody on Instagram, um, can you follow, 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 would you like to share, share, share? If you are interested in story time and you have friends or you have all your Facebook friends, perhaps you could click on share and let them see what it is that we're doing. Am I going to tell a spooky, spooky story this morning or am I going to tell... Yeah, I might actually. That's decided me. Oh, are we up for a bit of spooky? I'm up for a bit of spooky. So I'm going to tell you a spooky, spooky very weird ghost story. You know I don't believe in ghosts, don't you? But this is a spooky ghost story I'm going to tell you this morning, so join me at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. In the meantime, I, I have to go. I've got to get my fruit soaking for my Christmas cake, so I'll see you in hmm, 55 minutes. Bye, everybody.